In the realm of modern warfare, there existed a formidable weapon known as Maverick. Unleashing its destructive power from the skies above, the AGM-65 Maverick missile stands as an indomitable force on the modern battlefield. With its precise guidance systems, versatile integration capabilities, and lethal warheads, this air-to-surface weapon has become an iconic symbol of precision and devastation. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of the AGM-65 Maverick, The Maverick missile, a formidable air-to-surface weapon, owes its creation to the combined efforts of Raytheon and Northrop Grumman. Raytheon handled the development of the missile body, ensuring its structural integrity and advanced features. While Northrop Grumman took charge of crafting the powerful propulsion system that propels Maverick through the skies. Having taken its maiden flight in August 1969, Maverick swiftly progressed through its development phase. By August 1972, this remarkable missile was ready to be delivered to the armed forces, marking a significant milestone in its journey towards combat readiness. The United States Navy, United States Air Force, and United States Marine Corps all eagerly awaited the arrival of Maverick, recognizing its immense potential as a game-changing weapon. Finally, in February 1973, Maverick achieved initial operational capability, signifying that it was officially deemed ready for service. This marked the beginning of Maverick's active duty, where it would play a crucial role in the arsenals of the United States. From that point forward, Maverick became a trusted companion, relied upon by the brave men and women in uniform to strike targets on land, neutralize threats, and contribute to the defense of the nation. Now let's explore the milestones in its developmental journey. The Maverick missile emerged as a formidable weapon against tanks, vehicles, and air defenses. Its journey of combat began amidst the chaos of the Vietnam War, where its impact was keenly felt. This deadly weapon continued to make its mark during the legendary campaigns of Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom, solidifying its reputation as an indispensable ally in the quest to suppress enemy forces from the skies above. Maverick was not a single entity. It was a family of missiles, each with its unique capabilities and purpose. Among them, the AGM-65B variant possessed a keen eye guided by electro-optical and television systems. It boasted a remarkable feature called scene magnification, allowing it to acquire even the smallest and most distant targets. In the pursuit of perfection, Maverick continued to evolve. The AGM-65D emerged, equipped with an imaging infrared seeker, enabling its use in any weather condition, be it the light of day or the cloak of night. This variant's all-seeing eye provided an unprecedented advantage to those who wielded it. The AGM-65E, on the other hand, took a different path. It embraced the precision of laser guidance, coupled with a heavyweight penetrator warhead. This lethal combination allowed it to strike with incredible accuracy and devastating force. In 1989, Maverick welcomed the AGM-65G to its ranks. This variant was a marvel of technology, integrating an imaging infrared seeker with advanced software capable of tracking larger targets. Additionally, it sported a heavyweight penetrator warhead, a digital autopilot, and a pneumatic actuation system. It was the epitome of sophistication, but the story didn't end there. The AGM-65H, an upgraded version of the AGM-65B, entered the stage. With recent tracker upgrades, it became an even more formidable adversary, refining its ability to seek and destroy with unyielding precision. The AGM-65K, another member of the Maverick family, sought to replace infrared guidance with electro-optical television guidance. Undergoing tracker upgrades of its own, it was poised to enhance its accuracy and performance in the field. Then came the youngest of them all, the AGM-65L, known as the Laser Maverick. This cutting-edge variant was specially designed to strike high-speed moving targets. Equipped with an electro-optical television and semi-active laser seeker, it embodied the pinnacle of Maverick's evolution. Finally, let's examine its specification. The Maverick missile exhibits notable dimensions, showcasing its formidable presence on the battlefield.
With a wingspan spanning 2.3 feet, this air-to-surface weapon demonstrates its ability to cover a substantial area and engage targets with precision. Measuring 8.2 feet in length, the Maverick stands as a testament to its imposing size, ensuring its visibility and impact during missions. Its diameter of 12 inches emphasizes the robustness of its structure, highlighting its durability and capability to withstand the rigors of combat. In terms of weight, the Maverick missile ranges from 462 to 670 pounds, depending on the specific model. This significant weight enables it to carry a variety of warheads and payloads, granting it the capability to deliver devastating blows to its intended targets. The Maverick missile uses a powerful two-stage solid propellant rocket motor, specifically the Thiokol SR-109TC-1 or the Thiokol SR-114TC-1 or Aerojet SR-115AJ-1 solid propellant rocket motor. This propulsion system provides the necessary thrust to propel the missile forward with impressive speed and efficiency. Moreover, the Maverick missile is designed to achieve supersonic speeds, surpassing the sound barrier with exceptional velocity. This allows the missile to rapidly close the gap between itself and its intended target. With its impressive range of 20 miles, it enables a safe standoff distance for the launching aircraft while delivering precise and devastating strikes. This long-range capability ensures effectiveness and enhances the safety of both aircraft and operator. The Maverick missile employs various guidance systems depending on its specific variant. The B, H, and K models utilize an electro-optical television guidance system, which relies on visual imaging technology to acquire and track targets. This enables operators to precisely direct the missile towards its intended objective. The D and G models, on the other hand, utilize an imaging infrared seeker, allowing them to operate effectively in all weather conditions, day or night, by detecting and tracking targets based on their thermal signatures. The E model employs a laser seeker, which enables it to home in on targets designated by laser illumination. In terms of warheads, the Maverick missile offers different options. The B, D, and H models are equipped with a 125-pound shape charge warhead designed to penetrate armored targets with a focused explosive force. The E, G, and K models, however, feature a more powerful 300-pound blast fragmentation warhead. This larger warhead provides enhanced capability to defeat fortified or hardened targets by either penetrating them deeply or inflicting substantial damage through a combination of blast and fragmentation effects. Ultimately, Maverick's prowess remained beyond compare leaving a lasting mark on the annals of warfare. As technology advanced and battles were fought, Maverick stood tall as a testament to human ingenuity, strategic superiority, and the relentless pursuit of victory. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.